Hello everyone, this is Michael Afalanyo of Flourish Field and um, today I'm excited to tell you that we are going to be learning how to create a variable and then use variable in mathematical operations. So now let's get started. Okay, this is my Scratch um, online platform and then I am going to create a backdrop and then a sprite. All right, I'm going to pick a sprite. So first, I'm going to pick Giga. And now, this is Giga right here. So, the question is, what is a variable? Okay, a variable is a container that keeps data. All right, for example, if you want to add five numbers together, like what I have right here, if you have five numbers together, you need to create a variable for first number, which I'm doing now, second number, third number, fourth number, and then the fifth number. And then call all the variables together and then use the data in that variable to get your value all right i will explain that better in the scratch project but really a variable is a container that stores things now let's implement that in scratch to create a variable in scratch all you need to do is just to uh, navigate your pointer to variables and then you see you see um, a block of code right there called make a variable. All you need to just click on that and then it's going to say what's the name of the variable. In this case, we are saying first number is the variable. Now, this is the variable for the first number and then we do that for second number, third number, and then fourth number till we get to fifth number. So this is second number. We do that for third number, third number. Um, Oops, I think I'm a bit fast. Fourth number, and then the fifth number. All right, so this is the variable for all of this. Now, how do we add all of this together? But well, for us to add in a scratch project like this, we need to make it engaging to the user. So we're going to create a story around adding up five numbers and how do we create a story like that so we start with events remember our code always start with events so when flag is clicked so what we want giga to do actually we want giga to kind of introduce us to the calculator app the addition calculator app so and she's going to say something like remember to um use the say block we come to look and then we drag look and then we say hello everyone hello everyone hello everyone um welcome to my oops sorry welcome to my addition app welcome to my addition app and then you could actually make that for five seconds and then she's going to say another thing um this app would help us help us add five numbers numbers okay now this would be for five seconds again and then she's gonna say again that uh, let's get started or let's start okay let's start let's start now she's gonna say that for like three seconds now all she's going to be doing here is just to say that okay all right so after doing that, it's just to create a story around it. It's just to make the app more fun. So the next thing she's going to do is to ask the user for values. All right. So to do that in Scratch, actually, you just move your pointer to sensing. Now, in this sensing, you're going to see a block of code called ask. Now, whenever you want to ask and get response from, from a user, uh, you use that code. So we just drag this now and then we put it under the code. But this time around, we're going to be asking for the first number. So all you need to do is just say, impute the first, the first number. And then when you say impute the first number, this would actually wait for an answer, which is this. So for you to know what's going on in the back end, I'm going to check this answer and then I'm going to uh, run this code and then watch what will happen. Now, hello everyone, welcome to my addition app. This app would help us add five numbers. Let's start. 
All right, now she's going to ask a question. If you're the first number, please note this. Now, when I type 32 and then I press enter, the number is automatically stored in answer. Now, that is to tell you that answer in Scratch is a predefined variable that is used with a um, ask function. Okay, so this answer is actually a predefined variable. It's already defined and um, attached to this um, block of code already. So we can use it for ask. So to implement this, all we need to do is just to, to make the value that we typed in here fall inside first number. All we need to do is just to come to variable and then drag this set first number. Now you're changing this to first number. And then you're assigning the first number to what? Answer. That is the number you just typed in. Okay? Now let's run it again and see what happens now, right now. So everyone, welcome to my additional app. Now, this app will help us add five numbers. Let's start. Now, now, she's going to ask, input the first number. So when I type any number now, 21, this time when I click on enter, this 21 is already there, but still it's been... Um, set to first number because we already gave it like that. Can you see? Set first number to answer. And our answer is 21. We're setting it to answer. I hope you understand this. All right, good. So we're going to repeat the same step for second number, third number. Isn't that going to be boring? But like, we're going to do that, okay? Because I want to just show you the concept. That's all. We're going to repeat that step by duplicating. Okay, I just need to duplicate first. Sorry about that. It's boring, but I need to show you because... Um, of what I would be introducing to you after, which, I, which is loops. I will show you this, and then I will introduce to you loops. So now this is um, um impute the second number. This time around, it's going to be second number. Impute the second number. And then you're going to change this what? Second number. And then you see what? Impute the third number. Something interactive, OK? It's something interactive, just um, to, to uh, and this will be what, impute the fourth, fourth number, and then the last one, which is what, um, the fifth number. But now, in this case, remember to, you know, uh, change this variable to what, third number, and then this one to what, fourth number, and then this one to fifth number. So now, all these are going to collect the value and then store it inside our numbers, okay, our variables. Now, let's do it again and see. Now, when we run now, hello, everyone. Welcome to my addition app. Uh, this app would help us add five numbers. Let's start. Now, it's going to ask for, input the first number, let me just see 24. So, when I press enter now, 24 is popping up to that. Input the second number, 45. Can you see that? Can you see what's happening with the answer? Okay, um, 76. Can you see that? 98. Can you see that? And then um, um, 31. And I press enter. Now, that is that for all this instruction. Now, we, have, we are seeing that now our variable can now keep in data. But now, how do we add this data? How do we add this data? So, to add this data, actually, we are going to we are going to set another variable. Remember our diagram. We have created one, two, three, four, five. We're going to set another variable called what? From the diagram. If you set total, you're correct. Uh, you have a feature in programming. All right, yeah. It's called total. And total is actually going to take in the values of first number, second number, third number, fourth number, fifth number, and then add them together. So now, how do we do that in Scratch? All you need to do is just to create another variable. I know it might be boring because we repeated some steps, but you know, for beginners, uh, for those that are just starting programming, this would actually help you to understand what variables are, okay? And that is my focus. All right, so this is total. And now we want to make that, uh, make sure that every of these numbers have been added inside of total. So what do we do? We just say set, no, before we set number, we want to make it fun, right? So I've, I've got an idea. To make it fun, more fun, we're going to say, okay, we want um, this sprite to think a little. We're going to say processing. Processing the addition of... Processing the, the total 
of this number okay the total of these numbers you know kind of like it thinking so uh, like the, the sprite is thinking okay now processing and then we can now see what um we set we're going to set the total now we're going to set the total to be equals what if you thought about saying addition of the five numbers you're correct so now we're going to go to operators and then take this plus sign and then put it inside this but now in scratch we are limited with this that okay this can only add two numbers so to extend it to five numbers you're just going to drag it one more time and then put it inside this again you drag you drag again one more time and then you put it inside this and then you drag one more time and then you put it inside this so we have five numbers and then we're going to put in our variables in these five numbers so we're going to say um first number we put first number inside this place second number be careful with the way you do it can you see that white uh, stuff around that overall shape it shows that it's ready to enter that place okay and then um, third number we put it inside okay we could make this a bit smaller so that we can see our values clearly and then we put in the fourth number inside this one and then we put in the fifth number inside that one all right now so like this all our number will be added and then stored into total so the last thing we want to do is to make sure that the sprite actually prints out or say our total and you're just going to say say um total for say total say total for five seconds and then our app is ready okay all right now let's 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 run that from the top and then see what happens oops i forgot to say something now when we're running it from the top you notice that um you notice that our numbers are still the same the same way we actually started the reason is because we failed to initialize our number we, we want it to be that whenever we click on the flag we want our numbers to be set to zero to do that you just come right there and then you just say set first number we want to set first number to be equal to zero set second number why not just duplicate i'm wasting too much time duplicate and then duplicate and then we duplicate one more time for total we want total also to be so we have all of them like this and then we're going to set first number this will be second number this will be third number this will be fourth number this will be fifth number and then we want to say our total now like this our our code is ready well it's a bit long and then we're doing some things we're repeating some steps well we, we, let's just continue i'm going to tell you something after now let's run it from the top and then see you see everything is set to zero i feel we don't need to show our answer again so we just need to check that okay and then let's the code run so let's start all right so it's asking for the first number then i say 32 second number 45 third number 65 um 12 and then 34 presenter now processing the total of this number that's fun before you now tells us the answer now that looks more engaging okay or we could actually improve the code by saying um your answer is we could actually make it say uh we could just say uh, the sum of these numbers of these numbers is Da, 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 da. and then we say that for some of these number that's three seconds and then so that will be more fun now let's check it one more time and then that will be all for today okay all right today while we're taking it i just want to do a recap today we've learned about what a variable is and how to implement variables in scratch and how to use variables now variables are really important in scratch and that's what we actually done right there so you see 23 32 56 65 76 now we we'll present that processing this total processing the total of these numbers now the sum of these numbers is 
two five two, and then um, that's all. So that's what a variable is. Um, it's a uh, container, a container that keeps data um, for whenever we want to use that data. Okay. All right. If you do have any question, you could actually drop it as a comment um, under this video, and I'll be glad to answer your question. Now, if you don't want them to see your variable, all you need to do is just to uncheck all of them like this, and then your code will be fine. Okay. All right. So that's that. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you a better way of um, creating, um, of creating it, this kind of app. Um, for example, all this, all this code right here could be looped. But I'll show you that in the next video. All right. So please don't forget to subscribe, um, like if you like this video, and then comment. Ask any question you want to ask, and I'll be glad to answer all your questions. Okay. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, keep flourishing. Uh, because we do not have any option than to flourish, okay? All right, stay blessed, and um, see you in the next video.